when someone says to us, I have some good news and some bad news. What do you want to hear first? How many of us would rather hear the good news up front? Show of hands. Okay, some of us do. Well, today is your day. Easter is definitely a good news day. Although we always want good news, we know that in life, it is often preceded by difficulties such as struggle, darkness, fear, death, disappointment, emptiness, or injustice. This morning's gospel reflects this reality as it brings us from emptiness to announcing the good news that Jesus is alive. For the next few minutes, we will talk about how we, in the moments of our lives, move from emptiness of heart to bearing the good news that new life has come forth. We'll do this through four examples. The first one is related to illness. A few weeks ago, I shared here in our community that my sister-in-law's 45-year-old nephew, Matt, was diagnosed with brain cancer. He had surgery earlier this month to remove the tumor, and they felt an overwhelming sense of uncertainty going into it. But he and his wife, Katie, leaned on their faith, their trust in the medical team, and the love of family and friends to help them move through this time of emptiness and unknowing. They recently received a pathology report, and the doctor indicated that it was the best results you could hope for. He told them the cancer is not curable, but it is treatable. They immediately felt a sense of relief, but quickly realized they were, they would be battling cancer for the long haul. This realization was especially difficult because Matt's uncle had died from cancer at age 23. In Katie's words posted on Facebook, grappling with its permanency has felt daunting. Katie also shared that prior to their appointment, she had been reading from the book of Exodus about how God guided the people of Israel through Moses, ultimately liberating them from bondage and providing for them as they journeyed through the wilderness. She spoke of how she and Matt feel themselves stepping into their own wilderness, at times fearing the length of their journey and the unknown troubles to come. But they are hopeful and choosing to trust God, acknowledging God's promise to sustain them, just as God has for generations before them. Katie and Matt have journeyed from the emptiness of heart they felt at the time of his diagnosis to announcing the good news on Facebook of treatable cancer and their hope-filled walk into the unknown. They are living the good news as they trust in the goodness of God and rely on God's love and support and fleshed so beautifully in all the people who love them. This is indeed good news. The next example is related to nature. A few weeks ago, Stan and I visited the flower show in Philadelphia. Now, I've lived in Philly my entire life. I'm almost embarrassed to say that this was the first time ever I went to the flower show. I loved it. 
and the amazing displays far exceeded my expectations. After three months of winter, all I wanted to do was look at the flowers, allow their beauty to soak into my being and drink in their aroma. The bursts of color and creative artistic arrangements made spring come to life before our eyes. One exhibit was done by W.B. Saul High School of Agricultural Sciences in Philadelphia. Their display represented the reclaiming of abandoned spaces by colorful, thriving green space and reflected the students' vision for Philadelphia, uniting urbanism and agriculture in one space. In my heart, I felt the stark emptiness of the outside winter landscape and the abandoned urban space recede as the colorful flowers announced the good news of spring and new life. Nature too proclaimed good news. Our third example is related to grief and loss. I asked Mayor Curran if it was okay to share this, and she graciously said yes. In 2001, Mayor and her husband Dan's oldest son, Danny, died tragically at the age of 24 while hiking in the mountains near Bend, Oregon. The emptiness Mare and her family felt was utterly heart-wrenching. Several months after the accident, his body was found and they were finally able to bring him home. Through the years, I have witnessed Mare reach out, both in group situations and individually, to help others who have suffered the loss of a child. Her heartfelt compassion and genuine empathy have brought the good news of love to those experiencing agonizing emptiness. Danny's memory is kept alive at both his high school and college alma maters. She and her husband, Dan, sponsor a scholarship in Danny's name, awarded every year to a graduating senior at Springfield High School while Widener University hosts an annual Danny Curran Track Invitational to honor Danny's memory. Mayor and Dan have brought forth new life from stark emptiness in so many ways. Mayor shared these words with me. I'm not sure how we would have made it through those trying days without the love and compassion of our family, friends, coworkers, classmates, and teammates. From when we were able to bring him home until even now when we receive heartwarming messages on his birthday, I am convinced of the goodness of all people. That really is the good news. Mayor, thank you for being good news to so many. The final example is all of you, how our Mary Magdalene community announces the good news to the world. Whether it is in collecting food or clothing items for those in need, reaching out to someone who is sick or feeling lonely, contributing to a charity that builds up the larger community, or being a voice for justice. Through your generous spirit, you bring the fullness of the good news to those whose hearts are empty. Thank you for proclaiming the good news of Jesus in these and so many other ways. 
In each of these illustrations, illness, an experience of nature, a time of grief and loss, and a community effort, we are called to be transformed, to move from emptiness of heart to announcing the good news as Mary Magdalene did in the gospel today. On this Easter day, and as we begin this Easter season, let us each listen to our heart and the ways it is calling us to give and receive love's good news in our lives. Happy Easter. <laughs>